MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Atlanta Braves and the Toronto Blue Jays. So up steps Ozzie Albies, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. They have him played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So one away. here with the bases empty and that'll bring up the always dangerous Ronald Acuna Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Biggio is there so two pitches and two outs thus far. That Stepping first. up now Freddie the Freeman. Number five. Freddie Freeman. infield in the overshift here now the pitch there's a fastball well off the plate for a ball a ball and a strike now to the Braves first baseman now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two bases are empty here with two men out fastball well outside this is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Swing and a miss, and the count goes full. Three and two. Hit hard, but foul. Another full count pitch home. We'll have the first base runner of the ball game here as that misses and it's a two out walk. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning and that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. Now a throw over and he is back safely at first and that was almost trouble. From the belt, the pitch, and not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Bichette gathers it in, the tag, and he is out. Now batting, Kevin Biggio. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The left fielder, Kevin. Pitch on the way. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away. And into bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. On, he pops it up. Inciarte moving in, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. That is good. Not good stop. To the plate now, Lourdes Guriel. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Batting four. The designated hitter. Number Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. As he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty, it's strike one. Tellez 
Drives the ball with the best of them when facing right handed pitching like this but there is some swing and miss in his game some would say it's a little bit of an all or nothing approach at times. I think in today's game you can live with it the three true outcomes home or strike out or walk bottom line is when he does put the ball in play he changes the scoreboard swing and a miss at the curveball and there's your second out of the inning. Coming to the plate that now, Kyle Seeger. And he could give his guys an Kyle. early lead if he can come through here. Hey. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Seeger behind with an 0 and 2 count. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks. And even if you do that, it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. Now a long throw home. Oh, but it's <laughs> offline, so the run will score. That is good. The right field. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. Ball even at two and two. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Left side. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. That is that. The first baseman. And that brings up the left-handed hitting Travis Shaw as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Acuna on the move. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. Second inning set to go. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Tommy Pham. Here's the pitch. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. Pham with an even one and one count now. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Made him look silly with that one. Count still at one and two. Pitch on the way. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. McGuire finds it and he makes the throw to first. Sam is retired and there's one away. Digging in, Ender Inciarte as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Now here it comes. Swing and he puts a charge into this one. High and deep and you can't forget about it. This ball is gone. That is that. The third base. Standing in now, David Fletcher as he will swing at the first pitch and line this one into left center and that's going to get down for extra bases. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Batting it. The shortstop. Dansby. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. Fletcher, the runner at second with one away. Outside, two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Bat explodes as this has popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Working for the punch out and the offering. One out and a runner on second base. 
He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Popped him up. Shaw is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and now it'll be the catcher, Reese Reed McGuire. For Toronto, the catcher. Number First ten. pitch coming, here it is. Swing and a liner. But right there to glove it is the shortstop for the first out. So stepping in, Oscar Mercado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Mercado. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Digging in to try it again. Kevin Biggio. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First offering on its way. Rounded sharply, but right at that loaded side of the infield. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Now that the second base hit. In now, Bo Bichette. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Ranging back is Inciarte. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Top of the third set to get underway. And standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. First pitch on its way. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Biggio's there to make the catch for the first out. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Now here's the pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. He settles under it and makes the catch in the deepest confine of the ballpark. Stepping into the box, Freddie Freeman. He threw a walk his first time up. Here's the pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. And he'll make that play look easy as the throw is in time to end. Bottom of the third now. And that'll bring forth the slugging shortstop. Notice Guriel. Swing and a miss, and he's behind 0-1. Ball one. Here's the 1-1. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And there's your first out of the inning. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up Rowdy Tellez. First offering on its way. Here's a little chopper to the right side. Albies brings it in on the first, and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Here's the third baseman now, Kyle Seeger, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Now, here's the pitch. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Acuna going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. All set for the start of the fourth. And that'll bring up the big RBI bat of Mark. Marcelo Zuna. Marcelo Zuna. First delivery to him on the way. Rounded weakly down the line toward third. But a foul ball here. 0-1. Now time called at the plate as he'll step out and try and start it again. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Hit down the line at first. 
And that's a fair ball as it's through into right field. Up next for Atlanta, the left field. Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Pham. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Two balls and no strikes. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first AB, he went down on strikes. Two and one now. From the stretch. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And the runner back easily. And another throw over, keeping particularly close tabs on him. This is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Now at the plate, Ender Inciarte. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got. Not in store for us here. Ryan Barucki comes on now in an awfully difficult situation as there are two on here with nobody out. First pitch coming, here it is. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Barucki. Playing here in his age 26 season. He's got a sinker, a changeup, a slider, and a curveball. One and one the count now. From the belt, the pitch. On a line to shortstop. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. Ready now, David Fletcher. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A.B., maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Now batter, look back, Dan B. Swanson. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging what in. Up. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. Line drive to left. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. First delivery to him on the way. Chopper to short. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now that is. So digging in next will be Travis Shaw. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Who started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Not shocked by their aggressive nature at the plate today, but they got to change their M.O. if they're going to compete in this one. 0 and 2 to Travis Shaw. There's a shin-high slider laid off for a ball. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off. A hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Here he comes again, 1-2. Swing and a line drive. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. The 
So now to the plate, Reese McGuire, as he rips it on the ground to second. And that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. The center fielder, number 35. Into the box now, Oscar Mercado. Pops this one up. Freeman in foul ground. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. The left fielder, number Stepping eight. in for the Jays, Kevin. Kevin Biggio. He singled Biggio. his last time up. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. 2-0 to the Jays' left fielder. Got to find a way to execute either a good fastball down the way or flip something off speed for a strike. You cannot miss over the harder plate in these situations. The hitter is on high alert. And a stoppage in play as a balk has been called here. So forget about the force at any base. That'll move runners to second and third now with two away. Runners at second and third with two gone. Might have swung at ball four there. It's three and one. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And he takes ball four. So now at least they're set up for the force at any base here with two away. Now back, second base. So our situation as the base is loaded. Two men out. And in the bat next, the legacy Bo Bichette. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. So important getting ahead with the bases loaded. Already a difficult situation, so you don't want to make it any harder by falling behind in the count. Count now a ball and a strike. On uh, that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. That's just too much velocity upstairs to get good wood on it. It's going to have to lower his sights. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. You know he's probably cheating on that inside pitch after he got jammed earlier. If you're on the mound right now, you want to try to hit that outside corner, and there's a pretty good chance you'll get him to roll over something. Here's the two and two. This is on the ground to short. Is he going to get out of this? He is. They get the force at second base, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Travis Darno. They'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Cal Quantrill, a right-handed reliever, standing 6-3, gets the ball now out of the bullpen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. Now it's 2-0. Hey, always a good idea to take a couple of pitches when you're facing a young arm like this one. And now he's put himself in a real good hitter's count. Two and one to count. Hey. Travis Darno with an even two and two count now. And it's three and two now to the number nine hitter. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Mercado patrolling center makes the play one out. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Braves lineup. Stepping in, Ozzy Albies. He flew out in his last at bat. Line hard toward right center. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he is in there at third with a one out triple. Now back the center field. Acuna. Acuna digs in now as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. He 
he's set. Here comes the 1 1. Oh, they'll run this one in on him and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1 and 2 now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Swing and he pops him up. Shaw ranging into shallow right. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hold the lead, here's the delivery. Grounded up the first baseline. Shaw fields it cleanly, and he is out on the tag. So digging in now, Lourdes Guriel. He singled and popped out in his first two at bats. Line toward center field. Acuna is there and he has it for the first out. Settling in now, Rowdy Tellens. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First delivery to him on the way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Fam will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Now At the plate, Kyle Seeger, one for two Kyle. in the ball game thus far. Seager. Hit hard towards the hole. Albies scoops it up. Throw on to first. A three pitch. And Top half of the sixth about to get started. Striding forward, the designated hitter, Marcelo Zuna. Here comes the first pitch. Swing and a liner, but foul. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Chopped in front of home plate. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Ready for another shot now. Tommy Pham. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. Good deception on the slider there as he's way out in front. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Ender and Ciarte will be the next to bat. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Mercado is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Now at the plate to Oscar Hernandez. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The right fielder. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Acuna's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. One out now in the Toronto sixth inning. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Hey, this guy has really been attacking the zone, and this lineup has been more than happy to swing at a lot of pitchers' pitches so far. Oh, and he dusted him off the plate that time. Some mind games being played now. It's one and two. You know, I'm not sure he didn't throw that pitch out of the zone on purpose. They've been swinging at pretty much everything he throws, so why not give it a shot? So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Travis Shaw becomes out number two this inning. Reese McGuire stands in as he swings and misses for strike one.
There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Count is one and two now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Seventh inning ready to roll and set to go. on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. First pitch of the at bat. And he misses low with it two and zero. Oh. Don't expect this pitcher to throw something over the heart of the plate. He's going to have to stay on the corners right here. Huge spot in this game. Do not miss over the heart and get beat. The count now at two and one. And he fouls this one off. The 2 2. Line drive to center field. Mercado is right there, one down. Coming to the plate now, Dansby Swanson, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. First pitch on its way. Here's a bouncing ball and a chance for Guriel at short. In time to first, and there are two away. Now to the plate, Travis Garneau. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. One run, five hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. And a pitch up and in, keeping him honest. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Two balls and two strikes now to the Braves catcher. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Hit back up the middle. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. The batter number one, second Aldi. Aldi. And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzy Albies. And he puts it on the ground to second. And that's in for a base hit. He's two for four now. The center field of the 13. Ball of Junior. Throw over to first. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. to the plate now Ronald Acuna yes he'll take a look at ball one we could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far high fly ball out to straightaway center and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over for the traditional number 10 threat last half of the seventh here First pitch coming, here it is. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Ah. 
There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. A bouncer up the middle. And there's one down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Kevin Biggio. He's working on a one for two game so far. Grounded to first. Albies picks it up on to first, and there were two down. Stepping in, Bo Bichette. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Going back is the center fielder. Gone! Now Into the box, Mortis Guriel. As he puts it on the ground to third. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and next the dangerous power threat. Freddie Freeman. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. One ball, no strikes to count. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Biggio's there to make the catch for the first down. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And that'll bring up big time RBI man Marcelo Zuna. First pitch of the at bat. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. On, he pops it up. And that's going to land foul. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Fouled away. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. 3 to 1 our score. Inside and high with that one. One ball, two strikes. Hey, this is a real pesky hitter right here. As a pitcher, you really like to keep this guy off the bases. This is a guy that kind of sets the tables for big innings. And this is swung on and missed. Two are quickly retired to start inning number eight. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Tommy Pham is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. And it's fouled away. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. So here's the cleanup hitter, Rowdy Tellez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The designated hitter, number 44. And the pitch. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. That smokes, but right into the shift. Albies brings it in. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now Digging in once again, Kyle Seeger. He got Kyle. on top of one and was a ground out Seager. victim last time. Fouled off. Oh, one pitch on its way. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. On to Freeman Seager. at first, and there are two away now. Oscar Hernandez digging in now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. 
First pitch of the at bat on its way. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Three runs, eight hits, one error thus far for Toronto. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. He got a swing and a miss on that last pitch, but that's not the location he wants to live in against a hitter of this quality. To 1 and 2 now. And it's to 2 and 2 now with the bases empty and 2 gone here in the inning. This one misses, and that'll fill the count here. 3 and 2 with 2 away. Now the payoff pitch home. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that brings up the left-handed hitter, Travis Shaw. Sent on the ground out to second. Albies scoops it up. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends. The Here's Ender in Ciarte. Things off here in inning number nine. Anthony Kay comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. First delivery to him on the way. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Now batter, third baseman, David Walker. Standing in now, David Fletcher. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. So far, two for three in this one. Swing and a line drive. And that's in there. Base hit. in now Dansby Swanson he grounds it sharply to third to second for one on to first and they get them both now in the box Travis Darno and he needs to make something happen they're down to their final out here in the ninth Ken Giles comes out of the bullpen to shut things down here in the ninth First pitch of the at bat on its way. Two outs here with a runner at third. And this is swung on and missed. So with that, they find themselves down to their final strike here this afternoon. Final strike for the Braves. Ah, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible time run to the plate but could not cash in. And everyone on the team could finally breathe a little bit easier tonight. They finally snapped that eight-game losing skit. Hopefully, they can get on a roll now. Three to one, the final score.